Hey everybody, welcome back to Portugal and Beyond. I'm Jorik, I'm your host. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today's topic is going to be a little bit lengthy. I'm going to talk about if you're going to be moving to Portugal in 2022, 2023, or in the coming years, some things you should consider when it comes to shipping your items here, meaning you're going to get a moving company and have your items moved from your current country to Portugal, which would be your new country. Some things to consider, points to ponder, maybe some good and bad, some scenarios. And then in the end, I'm going to give you what I would call my several thousand dollar savings tip that you need to know if you're going to be using a shipping company and shipping container to move your things here. So first things first, if you're going to be moving to Portugal and you're going to be probably downsizing your, uh, your house or your apartment, maybe you're looking at what type of opportunity and property you're going to get here, there's a couple of things that I would ask before you even consider what you're going to ship. Are you thinking about getting a furnished apartment or home in Portugal? Are you looking at an unfurnished apartment or home? That right there might help determine and answer whether you're going to ship a lot of stuff or ship nothing. What we found in talking to friends who have immigrated here from European countries, so France, Germany, uh, the UK, both pre and post Brexit, North America, US, Canada, Mexico, Argentina. Those people have different stories and I wanna give you a few of them and they all seem to fall into one of three different buckets when it comes to shipping their goods to Portugal. Either they've shipped everything, so literally everything in the house or their apartment, they boxed up their clothes, kitchen items, dresser, bed, couch, table, you name it, and they had it all shipped. In some cases, they've done the opposite. They've shipped nothing. So they basically, other than maybe clothes that they put um, in their luggage for their flight or travel here, they wanted to start fresh and start from scratch. And then there's the hybrid where there might be a few items that they want to bring with um, along with, in addition to, let's say, clothing. Maybe there's a table or a bed or a couch that you really want to have, and regardless of whether their place is furnished or unfurnished, they're gonna bring with. We were more the hybrid. We bought some extra big uh, luggage so that we put all of our clothes in a luggage and some family heirlooms and photos so that that came with us immediately. And then we had a handful of items. We had a bed shipped. You can't get a sleep number bed in Portugal, and we were we prefer a sleep number bed, so we had that shipped. A couple of other items, and then the rest were like kitchen items, things like that, but not a lot of stuff compared to most people. So we ended up having contacting a shipping company, having them come give a quote, box everything up, then we had it shipped. What we can tell you is our experience from the U.S. is it took four months from the point it was shipped to the point it was delivered in Portugal. We're hearing several stories from people that if they're outside of the EU, EU it can be as early as a few weeks to let's say three to six weeks for that shipment to arrive. If you're outside, let's say North America, South America, it may take three to four months at the earliest. It could take up to a year depending on the situation. So that's kind of shipping and the three different scenarios that people get when they ship items, their goods, if you will, when they're moving to Portugal. Now, a question that gets asked by many people is, do we need to ship anything? What can we get here? What can't we get here that we could get back home? Now, it depends on where back home is, if it's Europe, UK, North America, South America. But I will say this. When it comes to personal care items and kitchen items, all the things that you may have, the amenities of, let's say, an electric toothbrush, hair dryer, uh, blender, toaster, mixer, those types of things that you would use in a bathroom or a kitchen, you can get here in Portugal. There's plenty of options and selection. 
One caveat, and this is a weird one, if you are really, if you love an Instapot, it's kind of more of a North American or an American thing, you can't find Instapots here yet. Um, so if that's something that you want to move with, more power to you. If that's not a big thing and you don't need it, move on and sell it in a garage sale and uh, come here without it. Now I will say when it comes to furniture, many apartments, ours is no different. It's decorated with a lot of Ikea. That seems to be the top brand here in Europe, especially in Portugal for couches and chairs and beds and tables and things. We do have some of that, but there are some boutique shops and some smaller furniture shops. So if you want more wood or a more uh, a different type of couch or a different type of table or beds there are shops i will caution you though if you're coming specifically from north america and the u.s you do not have the amount of shops and the breadth of selection that you're used to meaning you don't have warehouses of furniture to pick from here it's a little more boutique -y. Um, some really nice stuff but just not the selection that you're used to in many cases, you're gonna be moving from a larger apartment or home into a smaller place anyway, so you don't necessarily have the room. Um, but many of us use Ikea. I'm not going to say that that's great or not, it's, it's okay. Um, but you don't necessarily need to bring your stuff here. That's where I'm going with that. But if you want to, more power, that's your choice. Lastly, the most important thing I can give you in this video is if you're one of the people that are moving anything, meaning you're moving, shipping one thing, just your bed, or you're shipping your whole house, that could be several thousand dollars worth of shipping costs along the way. It is what it is, you can choose to do that or not. But you really, really must, I, I strongly encourage that, you make sure that when the shipping company comes and boxes everything up and gives you your uh, manifest or your here's the, all the items that you're being shipped, that you either send that or go to the Portuguese embassy in the country that you're currently living in and get them to either uh, notarize it or they can give you a document that says that yes, these are your goods and you're going, well, what's, what's that about? And the reason why is that you don't want to have to pay duties and taxes on your own items once they arrive in Portugal. If you do not get this uh, document that says that these are your goods and they are, are exempt from being taxed uh, and they're duty free uh, coming into Portugal, you're going to pay taxes and fees on your own items when they get delivered to you. That does not get published um, often by expat blogs, even the Portuguese website, the consulate websites, they don't go into great detail or not much specificity when it comes to this document. So we knew in August of 2019, the movers came, boxed all of our stuff up. We had two pages of things that they we signed off. We said, here's what the estimated value is. We have that original document that's our manifest, our list of goods that are going to be shipped and coming to Portugal. A week later, had our appointment in San Francisco at the Portuguese consulate. That was the closest to us being in Phoenix. And we were able to present them with the document and said, we need the stamp of approval or the extra, whatever you need to give us to show when we get those items delivered in Portugal, we do not have to pay additional taxes and fees on our own items. So they did two things. They didn't have to do both, but they they flipped it over and they notarized the the manifest. And then on top of that, they gave us an extra document saying we confirm that these are goods belonging to these people and they're exempt from any duties or fees or taxes when they arrive. So that is something that you need to have. The reason I say that is we know a couple from Mexico that spent $10,000 moving items and then they spent another $4,000 in taxes and fees to get the items once they moved because they didn't realize that this was something they had to do. Uh, there's a couple from the UK, similar exam uh, example, after Brexit, they moved here. It took a couple of months, so they got their items very quickly, but they had to pay about 1,500 euros to actually get their items from the shipping dock 
uh, delivered because they didn't have that. And we have an extreme example that I can give to you that a couple that was moving from Miami, Florida to Portugal, their items came in about a 90 day window. So that was pretty good, um, but they did not know that they needed to get anything uh, confirmed or approved by the Portuguese consulate. In their case, they would have had to go to New York for that. They didn't know. So when they got here, they got a notification three months later, hey, your items are at the shipping dock. We we're gonna figure out how to get them to you. Uh, they ended up having a bill of about 3,500 euros. And they're going, we're not gonna pay this. We're, this is our items. We're not, we didn't know about it. And so not knowing is not excusable, meaning they were still gonna have to pay to get those items. They spent over eight months uh, trying to go through a legal process, try to find different ways. They actually hired an attorney to try to help them. And then the long and the short of it, eight months later, they decided, okay, we need our stuff. We've been living in out of suitcases for most of a year now in Portugal. So they ended up getting their item, um, but instead of about 3,500, their items were now 5,500 because the company that was keeping them here in Portugal was charging them monthly rent to keep their stuff in a shipping container. So obviously not happy about that. So my whole point of this video is if you're going to move things, I don't know that you really need to other than family heirlooms, knickknacks, and, and clothing. You can get items here, although furniture, not as many items as you may like, depending on what country you're coming from. But if you are going to move stuff, and I don't mean luggage that's coming with you on the plane, but actually stuff in a shipping container or on a train or something that's going to be delivered here make sure that you get that item uh, confirmed, that, that manifest confirmed from the Portuguese consulate, from the country that you're coming from, so that you don't have any issues and you're not paying taxes and extra fees on the stuff that you already own. Uh, that's something that can start your, let's say, journey into Portugal off on a very sour note. And you don't want that if you're moving to a new country. You want um, less waves, you want smooth sailing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you so much. I hope uh, 2022 is going to be a great year for all of us. And as always, have a great day.